Hi everybody, this is Nick Tan here and welcome back to another episode of Nick Tan Chats and today we'll be looking at a product called uh, AdSense put out by Nawel Oliveira and El Gran Bronzini. Uh, before we get into the review proper, uh, if you guys, if you're the first timer here, you know you've never been to my channel before, welcome to the channel. Uh, if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, if you do like the content that I put out, the couple of magic reviews that I do here and there, please like, subscribe and click the uh, bell notification as well so that you'll get notified every time I upload uh, some review videos on YouTube. Uh, your support obviously will motivate me to you know, continue churning out whatever bits of content that I, that I can during my spare time. So, all right, so what is the effect of AdSense? When I first watched the video, the trailer, the tutorial video as well, the first type of effect that came to mind was a, an ESP matchup effect, right? You know, when you deal down ESP cards and spectators match your ESP symbols, uh, except that it's not done with cards, it's done with physical objects. All right, so the whole package comes in this box over here. It's a very nice looking box. Uh, so I'm gonna show you what you get inside the box. Also, before we open up the box, uh, I love this packaging because they've built in a secret trick that you can do with this box. Okay, maybe that trick is not very good, but anyway. So, uh, it comes in this packaging. It's a very sturdy hard, uh, cardboard box, all right? And uh, you remove off the lid. This is based on a on an imaginary magazine, okay, it's a make-believe magazine uh, that's called uh, Ad Style, all right, and this uh, magazine, I don't know, they release some kind of brand awareness cards, I suppose you can call them, and it comes in this neat little package um, from the box, all right, so if you were to carry the trick around with you in your pocket, I suppose this is how you would carry it around. What you get inside the box um, are the cards, all right, the cards, and uh, of course, one of the cards is a, uh, it's the, it gives you the link to the tutorial video, okay, the tutorial video runs for about uh, 54, 55 minutes or so, and taking you through the whole tutorial video uh, is uh, Javier Juanmer, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, from Murphy's Magic, and uh, he will show you everything you need to know, he will give you, you know, performance tips, uh, he'll walk you through uh, the handling of the cards, uh, routining ideas and there's also a studio performance as well with a rather attractive uh, female participant uh, needless to say I watched the video many many times just to make sure I get all the important details all right and so these are the cards one of the cards one more of the cards uh, is actually a, a special card which you will only use if you're going to perform this a second routine that is taught towards the end of the video it's a, it's a single prediction routine what that routine is is um, you know you let the spectator look at all these cards all these images they just think of one you run through the cards you you take out one you place it onto the table you ask them to announce their card then when you turn this over it is the card that they thought of. So that is a is another secondary effect. It's not the main effect of AdSense, but uh, it is available at the end of the video. You will use this particular card, you know, special card if you were to, if you want to perform that routine. All right, and on to the rest of the cards. Okay, now first of all, these cards, uh, well, they are printed on high quality card stock. Okay, which all magicians, uh, when you feel the cards, it will immediately feel familiar to you. They are not printed on like you know cheap, thin card body kind of cards. These are actual playing card stock. Okay, so they are going to last you for a pretty long time with uh, with some care. All right, and on on each of these cards, basically, there are like brands. All right, Sharpie, Visa. You know, there's Marlboro, uh, a Fossil, there's a Wallet, Travelex. You know, uh, AirPods and things like that. Well, the effect is as such, you hand these cards out to be shuffled, the spectator can shuffle the cards, they can help shuffle, you can shuffle the cards as well, you can display all the cards are different, uh, and then you would just lay out um, four, four cards onto the table, all right? So they would um, lay down a personal object of theirs. It can be their phone, uh, you know, a ring, you know, ear pods, their wallet, anything that they can have on them, keys or stuff like that. Uh, they lay it onto the cards themselves, and then at the end of, after you do it for three rounds, at the end of it, you show that the cards actually 
were the objects that they actually put on top of the card. So they've managed to cyclically or miraculously find the right cards with their own personal objects. Now although 16 cards are provided with this set, you only need 12 cards to, to perform the basic routine. What you do is, uh, you know, you can cater this to suit the kind of environment that you'll be performing in. For example, if you know that you'll be performing this in a pub, a bar kind of environment, you can then include, you know, the Marlboro and the Zippo card if you've got people around you who are going to be smoking, right? Um, but you can leave those out. Uh, if you're going to be performing in a more in an environment that you know where smoking is a bit you know socially unacceptable, uh, then you can leave those cards out. Uh, so you can tailor it to to suit your environment. How difficult is the routine to perform? I mean, it is quite it's quite easy i think uh, obviously for the end phase of the routine there's some work that needs to be done and if you have some basic card handling skills you should have no problems getting up to speed with this and you should be able to perform this rather quickly uh, if you are not very you know familiar with card handling stuff uh, that's all right because again javier takes you through every single option that is available to you some simple options which you can do uh, to get what you need done, okay, so that the routine plays out uh, in its intended form. Uh, one more thing that's interesting, I find uh, presentationally, uh, Javier also offers you an option if you want to, to actually reveal part of the method to your spectator at the end of the routine, uh, which kind of, you know, cements in the whole pseudo uh, influence and psychological kind of subliminal advertising kind of premise, all right? When I saw that, I thought, well, that, that's pretty cool. It's, I think so layman would find it quite interesting. Uh, it reminded me of, of something that I read from uh, Bruce Bernstein, put out many, many years ago. Uh, it's a card routine called uh, Separation Anxiety, I believe. It's where, you know, it's, it's his version of Out of This World, where red and black cards separate. A spectator deals through them and they separate out the reds and blacks. And at the end, he also reveals how, apparently, it was done um, and it's exactly the same as this it's, it's the same idea but I think you can choose to do that if you want you don't have to uh, if you do do that then uh, I think it you know it's another interesting angle or something else you can throw out there to kind of cement the whole psychological influence kind of premise you will need some table space to perform this uh, so if you uh, you know, you're going to be performing like uh, table hopping, I suppose, uh, walk around table hopping. Um, you may or may not get much use out of this, uh, you know, if, especially if the tables are cluttered with food and drink and stuff like that, plates, you know, glasses. Uh, you do need to know that you have to clear out a, a bit of space to place, you know, a, a row of four cards, okay? So you will need that kind of area to perform. Just take that in consideration when you wish, when you're going to bring this out to perform. Other than that, AdSense I think is a really cute, very cool, uh, also very clever uh, little piece of uh, magic or mentalism. I think it's open to different presentational styles. The, the core concept behind it is very clever. It's a very, it's a very commonly known kind of principle in magic and mentalism. However, the way it's applied here, I think it is pretty smart. And if we're done well, I think you know it should fly by some some magicians and some mentalists, um, especially if they're not aware of exactly what has happened. They may be aware of the main principle involved, but not exactly how it was applied. Okay, so I think it's a very cute thing. It, it fits in a very nice little package. Okay, that you can carry around with you uh, wherever you go if you wish to be performing casually. And I think it really, really suits, um, you know, mentalists or magicians who wish to perform with that kind of, you know, psychological influence kind of angle. All right, uh, and as always, I picked up my copy of AdSense from uh, Cassidy at The Fundamentals. So if you are interested to pick up a copy, you can uh, place your order through The Fundamentals. The links will be in the description box down below. Thank you so much, guys, for watching the video. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, do all the usual stuff to get this video noticed, and hopefully I can produce more content for you in future. As always, till next time, stay safe, take care, and magic on.